Hi okay, guys, gonna show you how to put together IKEA kitchen. This is the method units. You got few bottom, few top ones. I'm gonna take you through through all the installation, uh, building appliances. You're gonna have some uh, cooker on the top. I'm gonna cut the panel on top, and you're gonna put the units on the wall and visit everything as it's supposed to be. All the kitchen we will divide in five parts, and in this one, I'm gonna show you how to install to the final stage the appliances. So first, we're gonna we're gonna um, put a little film of glue all around the corners where we cut the, um, the cooker and the sink just to avoid the water coming in and we can uh, place those hooks on the sink just click them in there's a small metal bracket on the top I must say it's very soft it wasn't that easy to attach it um, to the sink uh, it depends on your sink you may have a different one this one wasn't very good all in it clips nicely after when i was screwing in the screws on it it didn't go very well we're gonna put the silicone all around uh, so extra protection there is a rubber um, around uh, around the sink but uh, you can put a little bit of silicone on the top just to make sure the water not gonna come in as this is the main place where the water gonna run and we can put the sink in if you put the silicone just be careful watch out where you put it uh, don't go too much around it so less mess you do better for you and we can adjust the sink exactly as it is it's supposed to come in but sometime the hole is slightly bigger so just make sure is it exactly the same on all sides and then you can secure the sink from the bottom side as I mentioned those brackets wasn't very good so attach one first and then measure it put it in the final place once you're happy with the measurements at the front you can secure it from inside as we put the silicone once you once you secure this uh, it's gonna stay where it is so it's gonna you're gonna grip it on a silicone uh, properly so that's why um, measure it so once it's attached it's gonna stay there so just secure all those brackets there's plenty of them I don't know even how many maybe 10 12 not sure once it's done we can do the hop uh, this one is more simple it just make sure all the surface is clean around where you're gonna put this isolation I didn't put the silicone on the top of these as this one is one after the uh, the sink it's not gonna be uh, directly next to the water I didn't feel like I need to put a silicone, extra silicone on the top of this isolation. It would be easier when you uh, when you need to remove it or to put it put that back in. I just place the sticker all around it. This is quite simple, and I uh, I like this uh, system on this one. You probably get the your. Um, uh, different uh, different cooker so you may have a different uh, things this just to give you idea how the things are done I just cut the edge and make sure it's close together oh, this cooker gonna have a four brackets uh, holding the whole thing and one screw for the bracket so we can put it where it's supposed to be measure it and it's exactly the same as the sink and we can attach the brackets so first one going to this cooker and just holding the kitchen top on the other side one screw for it. don't go too hard on that screw as if you press if you twist it too much you can just not grip it anymore so just go gently once you feel the resistance always it grips enough it 
it just stopped on don't go too hard on it it happened to me on the last one I twisted too much in this one I'm gonna have to take it out and put it through the different uh, different see it's just spinning around so I have to take it there is another hole I have to take it out and this side use the other hole I won't grip properly okay we get the sink and uh, hope attached uh, we're gonna work on oven now two plates just place them in on the l-shaped brackets which we prepared already before in previous parts and we can put the oven in it's very simple installation of course before you do all this you uh, it depends if it's gas or electric you connect all your wires the best thing to put the oven in first and then the cooker on the top so once you put the oven in you connect the wires connect the wires in a cooker and then you put the top cooker on so the oven should go first in I'm not gonna do the uh, do the gas and electric connections here as you need for this to certify electrician or plumber so I just do the uh, fitting to show you how it is okay there is a uh, four plastics coming on the main frame of the oven and then just simple screw through the plastic to the side panels of the method units securing the oven as I mentioned before this you sort out your gas and electric connection you're gonna have microwave on the top just slide it in very easy simple it's supposed to be some kind of cover on the top in this case I have a hard time to put it in so we decide to not put it and it's even maybe better because I have a bit of space on the top for the ventilation so four screws in the corner same as in the oven this one going in 45 degrees and on the side 90 degrees in the screws and securing all the all the microwave that's it very simple good looking unit we're gonna have one shelf in the other side at the top uh, method unit place the plugs place the shelf and we can put the hinges up be careful with those they extend very quickly and just slide it door. just clip them in that's it you can put all the sliders and drawers in I'm gonna have three drawers on this side one under the oven and the doors on the side the other side we got two, do uh, two doors so and this is it this is the IKEA method kitchen all done you can see there is the door handles already or drawer handles you can choose um, the specific door handles in this case we got the long aluminum ones and this is it this is the fifth part of the kitchen installation don't forget to check out part one, two, three, and four, where I take you for the all installation from building the method units to this stage in five part where the kitchen is done as it's supposed to be. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. Don't forget, you will make my day. Thank you very much, and uh, you have a lovely day. Watching, see you in the part. See you in the part two on the kitchen story, Balamori. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a beautiful day, and see you in my next one very, very soon. Part two. Hey, guys. See you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you.